Hi there, my name is Professor Blackmore and I want to welcome you to my course entitled OneNote eTrial Notebook Extras. In part five of my course entitled How to Make an eTrial Notebook Using OneNote, I talked to you about how to use your eTrial Notebook during trial, including how to play video excerpts directly from your e-trial notebook, how to show exhibits to the judge or jury during trial directly from your e-trial notebook. I also show you how to take quick written notes for things like cross-examination of witnesses or other notes that you need to take during trial. I also show you how to use your cell phone or pad as a document scanner to attach a quick photo of documents that you are gathering or that are being admitted by other parties during trial and all other types of different things that you can do with your e-trial notebook during trial. Now I'm going to talk to you about some of the hidden extras in OneNote that you can use in your everyday law practice or to conduct activities as you prepare for trial. In doing so, I'm going to use the same case example that we used in the main course, the automobile pedestrian bicycle accident case entitled Winters versus Ramirez. I'm going to use that case example to show you some of the OneNote resources that you can use to prepare for a deposition or for other activities that you need to conduct to build your e-trial notebook in anticipation of trial. In part one, I'm going to talk to you about creating the notebook section and pages for that upcoming deposition. In part two of this course, I'm going to talk to you about creating meeting details from your Outlook calendar or your Google calendar. Then in part three, I'm going to talk to you about how to turn on dictation to dictate notes during the event and or how to turn on your audio recorder to record audio during the event. In part four of this course, I'm going to talk to you about how to create drawings or diagrams with the witness that may be attached as an exhibit to the deposition. And then in part five of this course, I'm going to talk to you about how you can replay those drawings or diagrams for the judge or jury, or just to refresh a witness's memory about his or her deposition testimony. Now this sounds like a lot of fun, right? So let's get started.